So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining our um, wellness hour with Dow Calligraphy. My name is Lori and I am one of the co-owners with Satori Family Wellness Center here on Maui. And we are very grateful and honored to have a wonderful Dao Calligraphy Healing Field that can serve many in our community and beyond. And I want to share a little bit about what Dao Calligraphy is and what it can do. So I'm going to um, share a short video of it's Master Shah sharing about our progress. But Dao Calligraphy. So let us, and we will have um, later today a wonderful presenter again. We will have Dr. Gina. So I'll introduce her in a little um, while, but we'll start by sh sharing this video with all of you. So relax and Positive thinking and a special healing mantra or healing song, wonderful. But I think mind over matter is not enough. The next step is soul over matter. Soul over matter, soulfulness means our soul can make things happen. Master Zhigong Sha studied to be a medical doctor in Western medicine from China. Through this journey, he came to learn of a 5,000 year old practice in traditional Chinese medicine. This revolutionized both his practice and his healing gifts. This is his story. Why was in a medical college, Xi'an Medical College. One time, I think at the restaurant, the meat spoiled. Then I took it, then I have vomiting, <laughs> diarrhea, and the meditation cramp. Then midnight, I went to emergency. They gave me injection in modern medicine. That's it works. I oh, pain. I drink water, pull throughout. I have a classmate. He is the traditional Chinese medicine lineage family. But he studied modern medicine as my classmate. And he came down to my room. He said, lie down. I lie down. Lie on the stomach. And he put his hands on my inner thigh. And also my lower back. And he said, relax. Then he moved the finger, moved my tendon. Me, oh, I was shouting, oh, very painful, and it's very so forceful to move my tendon. And then he said, drink the water. I said, I cannot drink anything. He said, big bowl of water, drink it. I drink it, I drink it, I was totally okay. I have such a deep impression. I said, wow, Chinese medicine, 5,000 years history. There must be something. This experience, along with many more, changed Master Shah's trajectory from studying strictly Western medicine to also studying traditional Chinese medicine. He received his MD degree in Western medicine from China. He also became a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. As a lifelong student of ancient Chinese wisdom, Master Shah has come to learn this one eternal truth. Millions of people in China know these three words, Shen, Qi, Jing, but I have realized Shen, Qi, Jing is more than people understand. In traditional Chinese medicine, Shen, Qi, Jing are known as the three jewels or three treasures. Shen is the soul, Qi is energy, and Jing is essence or matter. Master Shah has learned and further teaches that everything and everyone is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Or in other words, we are all made up of Shen, Qi, Jing. During my study through the whole life, I have realized that Shen, Qi, Jing is a universal law. Everyone, everything is made of Shen, Qi, Jing. Shen, includes soul, heart, and the mind. So in spiritual realm, soul is the spirit. But in quantum faith and Tao science, a soul is the information. They are the same. Millions of people believe here, soul and the spirit. Millions of people believe sci scientific way. But in fact, they are the same. 
information to your soul. So therefore, this is like an information system we share with humanity in Tao science. To further explain, the soul is the warehouse where information is stored. Our heart is the receiver, which transmits the information to the mind. Our mind is the processor or interpreter of the information received. Our mind, in turn, directs the energy and initiates actions. This energy, or qi, dictates the actions of matter. Matter, known as jing, can be defined as our physical body, physical environment, and physical circumstances. Knowing this, both the positive and negative information we consume play a crucial role in the outcome of our lives. Positive information causes greater result for health, relationship, finances. If you connect with negative information, you are affected. We do Dao calligraphy, we connect with the source. This is a positive information. Dao calligraphy is a revolutionary healing art based on an ancient form of one-stroke calligraphy, Ibitsu, which he learned from the sole lineage holder, Professor Li Chu Yun. Master Shaw further developed this oneness writing to create a powerful vibrational field that carries the positive messages of Dao's source, such as the greatest love, forgiveness, harmony, flourishing, and more. Through this, we can transform negative information and energy in our own vibrational field by absorbing the positive information and energy generated through tracing of Tao calligraphy. This can result in positive changes and profound healing in our lives, as has been the case for hundreds of thousands of people whom Master Shah has served. Tao calligraphy creates source healing field that it can serve all life, including health, relationship, and finances. I am delighted and excited to invite you to join the master class taught by master teacher Vanessa, rejuvenation, prolonged life, as well as transformation of relationship and the finances. Welcome you. So welcome back. Let me just hold on. So thank you. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy that video. Um, every time I am able to watch Master Shai, just am smiling. Uh, it is um, a wonderful way to kind of reconnect with him. He is um, our teacher. And I would like to introduce, uh, I have the honor of introducing one of his um, students, Dr. Gina Musetti. Some of you have already met her. She has been with us before, and we're very happy and honored to have her again. But for those of you who are new and um, are just meeting her, uh, Dr. Gina, she is the clinical, clinical director of the Life Center Acu Acupuncture Clinic um, as a registered ac acupuncturist. She's also a registered traditional Chinese medicine practitioner um, with a master's of science in traditional Chinese medicine from the American College of Traditional Chinese Medicine. She's also a certified practitioner of Twina and the Qinang Sang uh, Muscle Tendon Changing Qigong, as well as a diplomat of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine from the National Certification Commission for Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine. Uh, since 2004, um, Dr. Gina has treated thousands of patients providing a comprehensive healthcare system that is safe and natural and effective. And with over 20 years of experience, Dr. Gina helps patients achieve their optimal health and life goals by experiencing pain relief and birthing happy and healthy babies. She's a licensed um, and expertly trained acupuncturist and a registered traditional Chinese medicine practitioner with a focus 
special focus on reproductive health, in vitro fertility, and pain management. And in addition, she is a certified master teacher with um, Master Shaw's Dao Academy. She has also been personally trained not only as a master teacher, but even with acupuncture. Um, she's one of the rare few who really uh, Master Shaw has taught only a handful of his um, students, you know, acupuncture um, and traditional Chinese medicine. So she has had the privilege and honor of having that hands-on training with Master Sha. And I'm so honored and delighted to introduce Dr. Gina. I know her personally um, for many years. And for me, it's just such a comforting feeling to know we have such a professional um, like Dr. Gina. And I know like when I'm teaching some classes and um, I need a bit more of that traditional Chinese medicine and five element information. I remember like just Skyping her really quickly and she answered right back and could help me um, explain to a student who had some questions that I did not know of um, and could uh, respond to him very quickly. And um, she is such an excellent practitioner. It's such a small world because many times I would refer um, people to Dr. Gina or I would talk about what we do. And um, they would mention, oh, Gina, she helped me with this and that. And even although we're on another island or they're in another, sometimes even like another, another continent, she, you know, they know her and has worked with her. So we're so honored, so delighted to have Dr. Gina back with us to share more about her wisdom, maybe her journey with um, using you know, her skill set um, as an acupuncturist and her credentials and how she has successfully also integrated Tao calligraphy into her healing and transformation. She is one of the few uh, holders of the Tao calligraphy healing field. She has a level one that she serves with for her clientele as well on Oahu. So we're very um, honored to have her back. So welcome back, Dr. Gina. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let me just share. Thank you, Dr. Lori. So good to see you. So good to see everyone. So um, Lori, is this... Um, is this a public group or is this? This is a public team? group. It is also, um, yeah, it's public. It's for hopefully new, but we do have a lot of our regular students and um, it will be also on YouTube. So others who may not be as familiar with Master Shah, Dal Calligraphy can also learn more about what we do. Um, okay, but, oh, wonderful. Great. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, thank you, everyone. Um, oh, hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Thank you so much for being here with us. We love you. We love you. We love you so much. Um, hello, Auntie Annette. Let me just open the gallery here. We can see everybody. Hi, Claire. Um, hi, Michael, Wendy. Hello, Brittany. Um, Asha, Betty, Brian, Naomi, and Mercedes. Thank you everyone so much for joining us here this evening for our wellness evening. And um, I wanted to just first ask all y'all if um, anyone has, oh, thank you so much, Brittany. Brittany just put my website um, address in the chat. It's just my clinic name, Life Centered Acupuncture Care uh, dot com. And thank you so much, Brittany. Um, so I wanted to check in with everybody. It, does anybody have anything in particular that you're dealing with, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, relationships, finances, or even some, um, you know, maybe you know, spiritual challenges, if you're having difficulty doing any of your practices or um, doing your meditation. I, I don't actually, Dr. Lori helped me a lot with that um, because I remember at one time when I was starting to learn calligraphy, I was having such a hard time and Dr. Lori really helped me to 
she said, just, just put the calligraphy on your heart, you know, just start with that. And it really helped me to just get the ball rolling to open my heart to greatest love and all our wonderful 10 greatest virtues of the Tao that we had available, that we have available to us and many more things, love, peace, and harmony, so on and so forth. So let me just see. Okay, nobody's writing in the chat. Um, you can always just unmute yourself and say something. Does anybody have anything in particular that you want to focus on? So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do one round of love, peace, and harmony. You guys can think about what it is that you need for the evening. And we'll just start with love, peace, and harmony, okay? So love, peace, and harmony, in case you have anybody new here, is a song of the heart and soul. So the words are, I love my heart and soul. Why do we say this? I love my heart and soul. Well, for me, I honestly have to say that I had trouble saying that I love my heart, I love myself, I love my soul. I didn't know what that meant. I love my soul. What, what is my soul? Where is my soul? Um, and so now that I have like integrated over the past almost a dozen years um, with love, peace, and harmony, I can truly say now that I do. I love my heart and soul, and it's an amazing feeling. And then we say, I love all humanity. Why do I say I love all humanity? Because we are all one. This is, you know, just my own personal philosophy, I think. But, um, you know, it's one also that Dr. Shaw embraces. And that's why he's writing the one stroke calligraphy, e pizza, one stroke calligraphy, because we are all one. And when you take a word like I, this word right here, it's made up of several different strokes. But when it's all combined into one stroke, when we're able, it's like cursive writing, basically. And then it allows the whole, your head, your heart, your abdomen, your whole body, head to toe, to have greater flow of energy, of blood, of all your hormones circulating throughout your body. And this is one of the things I teach my patients to sing love, peace and harmony, to listen to love, peace and harmony. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Because we think as people on this planet that we're all separate little individual beings. But in actuality, it's like your liver is made up of many, many, many separate cells. But if you put all those cells together, you have one organ, right? Just like we have trillions of cells in our body. We have all different organs, liver, heart, spleen, lung, kidney, small intestine, large intestine, gallbladder. And all of these things come together to make us one person. So if we can think of ourselves in that way, that we are one part of a greater whole, Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So I'll just sing one round in um, the sound of our heart and soul, Lula Lula Li, and in English. And then hopefully you guys can type in the chat or I will just continue. So the way that we like to do this is with all of our, what Master Shaw calls the power techniques. So our body power is where you put your hands is where you receive the healing or the blessing. So if you're having any physical difficulty, you can just put one hand on that area. I just spent two hours in traffic. So I think I might put one hand on my neck and then put your other hand on your lower abdomen. If you're having maybe like an emotional difficulty, you could put your hand on the corresponding organ. If you don't know which organ it is, um, we can talk more about that later. If you don't know which organ it is, just put one hand on your heart, one hand on your lower abdomen. Also for finances, one hand on your heart, one hand on your finances. And let us all sing together. If you don't know the song, just visualize beautiful golden light shining into your physical 
emotional, spiritual body, healing and rejuvenating you with the sound frequency of love, peace and harmony. And so that's our body power. And then we have the visualization power, visualizing the light. And then we'll use the say hello greeting, which is the power of our soul. So we we'll use the power of our soul to say hello. So you can say hello to your body, like dear soul, mind and body of my neck. I love you, honor you and appreciate you. I'm so sorry I had to put through you through three hours of driving today. <laughs> and um, you have the power to heal yourself. Do a good job. Thank you. Dear the source of love, peace, and harmony, soul song, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please help my body to heal itself, my emotions to heal themselves. Please help my mind to heal itself, my finances to heal themselves. Please bless me as appropriate. Thank you with all the love and light of the source. And um, then the sound power. So we're going to sing. If you know the song, sing along. If you don't, just relax and breathe. Oh, I'm going to use my separate microphone for this. Oh, if I can remember where to plug it in. Yay. Sorry, one second. Because the computer doesn't pick up the sound very well. Okay. Use my little handy microphone here. <laughs> okay. So visualizing beautiful golden light shining into your body, head to toe, filling you with the love of the source, whatever that means to you. God, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, Mother Mary, and just imagine your heart opening and relaxing and receiving healing, love, peace, and harmony, frequency, and vibration. I love of my heart and soul. I love of all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony Love, peace, and harmony. And then I'll sing one round in Hawaiian. E aloha mai ya'o. E aloha kako apa. A P L M I U U V A I K A K O Aloha Maluhi Aloha Hi Aloha Maluhi Aloha Hi And then in our uh, heart and soul sound. Lula, 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 Okay, wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. I'm just going to put the microphone in here in case anybody um, needs to speak. I'll just listen to you through there. Um, 
for now. Let's see. Okay, we have five chaps. Let's see. Okay. Auntie Annette says, dear ones, please feel free to know areas that you are working on for transformation. And she says she also has some neck and shoulder tension and working on managing blood pressure. Okay, wonderful. Well, it was not mine. I think Laurie print, um, typed it out. Yeah, that's, I, that's mine. <laughs> Laura, oh, I know, right? Because oh my gosh, I didn't type that. I'm like, yeah, I'm at the computer most of the day. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, yes. Okay, and then Mercedes says, I'm dealing with indecisiveness of pushing through with my journey to be a Dow calligraphy field messenger. We'll look at the book I'm holding. Dow calligraphy healing fields. Yes, it is. Um, I'll just speak about this briefly. I feel you, Mercedes. It is definitely a journey. It is journey. It is a journey. And um, Master Shah's teacher, Master Guo, he said, you know, the spiritual journey is a cruel journey. And um, I would say, I don't know how I could live without it. Um, interestingly enough, I didn't mention this last time, and I meant to, but um, I am in a large part here due to this family, because, and I was just telling one of my patients today that, um, you know, the first time I met Master Shaw was here in Honolulu at the Ilikai. Um, if you've ever been to Waikiki, um, the Ilikai is one of the like most iconic hotels in Waikiki. It's been here since the 70s. They actually just had their 60th year anniversary. Um, it's a hotel and a residence. And my clinic is around the corner from there. And so when I went to this first workshop, which was four days, and I spontaneously took four days, uh, two days off, because it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, after going to a, a Wednesday evening introductory, um, you know, like introduct introductory evening to the workshop. And I was so confused by everything that was going on. I'm like, what is going on here? I don't understand anything. <laughs> Even the reason I went was because I had read one of Master Shaw's books, Power of Soul. And I had great, tremendous success healing myself with that book. And then when I found out that he was going to be here in Honolulu, I thought, okay, thank you, God, divine, heaven whatever I um, will go like thank you um, I knew that it was a message so but I was so confused and people were crying and people were telling these amazing stories and I just had no idea what was going on and one day we had a break and I turned around in my seat and there were these three beautiful ladies sitting right behind me and I thought, well, these women are very beautiful and they look very happy and they look very healthy. Maybe I could talk to them and find out what's going on here. <laughs> and I thought that they were all sisters, of course. <laughs> and it turned out to be Auntie Annette and Lori and Chiammy. So thank you, Auntie Annette and Lori and Chiammy, Dr. Lori, Dr. Chiammy, for being here for all these years, um, because I am here, because you supported me in that first workshop, and you have been ever since, <laughs> and I'm very grateful. <laughs> so yes, Mercedes, I know this journey can be challenging, 
we were we are all here to support you we're all here to support one another and um you know just you know just stay in touch with your mentors stay in touch with us you can call you know dr Lori, me chami and at any time malia any any of us and um we will be here to support you. Like I said, I had to call Lori many times. <laughs> Lori, I can't write my calligraphy. <laughs> Dina, put the put the put the greatest love calligraphy on their heart. Okay, okay, okay. I still can't write very well, but I do try to write a little bit every day, and um, it's worth doing. I tell you, it's worth doing. So, thank you, Mercedes. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, she says um, she feels like there is lacking in support in timely manner information dissemination. Yes, I would agree. I am also a teacher at the Dow Academy, and I also have difficulty, the same difficulty. We all have the same difficulty. It's not just you. It's not just the students, even the teachers. <laughs> and I don't mean to make light of it. It's not funny. I know it's not funny, but it's the way it is. And it's so frustrating at times. I know, but just hang in there, just hang in there because it is worth it. I tell you, Mercedes and everybody listening, when you are sitting in front of a person and you are able to guide them in a practice, and they feel better when they leave. You'll see. It's, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. It's worth all the crying. <laughs> like I'm crying right now. It's worth all the crying. It's worth the pain because it's, it will be painful. Um, and it's worth all the frustration. <laughs> um frustration of not getting information when you need it or frustration of the links not working or the technology or whatever it's worth it at the end of the day when you can help somebody with you know healing themselves you know through your calligraphy or your dao song your singing or through your meditation you know just guiding them it's all worth it. Okay. I'm going to continue reading the messages here. Let's see. Okay, wonderful. Um, thank you, Auntie Annette. Asha says she has pain on her forehead. Okay, and she needs to continue to ask for forgiveness and for transformation. Okay, wonderful. And Auntie Annette says, thank you, Mercedes, for mentioning your challenge here. This wellness hour and Dow calligraphy healing field is a great place to place this concern. We are here to support you. Yes, absolutely. Brittany says, I have been working to clear congestion for years. Are you talking about sinus congestion? I'm going to assume that's what you're meaning, Brittany. I'll just uh, unmute. Um, like my nose and like also my chest, it's always... I'm always coughing and oh, and very congested. Wow. So it's like lungs. Um, but then all of my kids just got sick. They all took turns. And then I think for me taking care of them, it just kind of snowballed into me not um, taking care of myself very well. And then I've been um, like no taste, no smell, and then kind of sick for the past like week. But it doesn't, when I get any kind of little congestion of any sort, it takes very long time for it to go back to any form of regularity, like at least a month. But then I always have some form of lingering congestion for like my whole life. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. I will address that. And um, Michael. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um. Well, I, I guess she said it didn't go. She didn't think it went through. So one of my clients said, is it about her open heart surgery? that she wishes to, she's recuperating at this time and would like to have um, a bliss. She, you know, I guess um, she gets tired and um, she would like to have a blessing if 
it's appropriate. Yes, absolutely. Thank okay. you. Great. Yes, I did not see that message. Great. And she and it also just wrote, I remember you at that workshop. <laughs> so grateful to have met you as well. Thank you. Yes. I, I think we all do remember you. <laughs> what? The workshops, right? <laughs> Okay, great. So I'm going to just try to keep those um, open. Okay, so um, what is your what is your friend's name, Annette, or your student's name? Um, maybe you can just, I think maybe she would like to be it to be confidential. Okay, yeah. great. So yeah. just just um, yeah, think of her. Okay, just think of her. And then we're all going to just do so a we can call her soul in. I'll yeah, silently. Yes. Yes, silent blessing. Okay, wonderful. So we'll just um, think about healing for the heart. Okay, so we can all do this together. And actually, um, maybe I can position this away that you guys can see the calligraphy better. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then I can just go to the side here. Okay. So we're going to, let me turn the, I don't know if I turn the light on, if this might help. One second. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so you can see the dot I, greatest love, right here. So just very gently um, have your eyes like kind of, you know, just gently, gently closed, okay? And then just um, put one hand over your heart and one hand over your lower abdomen. And then just, just imagine that there is like a light coming from the calligraphy. I don't know if you've ever seen any of Dr. Shaw's animations, but you'll see in the animation that the light is coming from the calligraphy. Silence. Sorry, sorry. and going into your heart, okay? And then you could do this for any part of your body, like you can do this for your nose, okay? So we'll start with our body power. So where you place your hands is where you receive the healing or the blessing. So if you're having a problem with your sinus, you can just, you know, have your hand in front of your nose or your throat or your chest or your breasts or your stomach or your intestines or your uterus, your heart, liver, spleen, lung, kidney. Just place your hand wherever you need healing for emotional healing, um, probably just over the heart for now, and one hand over your lower abdomen. If you know how to trace and you want to trace, you can go ahead and trace, but it's nice just to have like a relaxing kind of meditative healing as well sometimes. So just imagine the light coming out from the calligraphy. Just imagine, you know, it's God's light, it's source light, it's Jesus light, Mother Mary's light whatever you feel connected to in your heart. And then we can um, just um, sing greatest love for a few minutes, okay? And then we're also inviting in the soul of Annette's um, friend. So healing for her heart. And then um, we also had another surgery and also for Mercedes for, you know, just re- um, realigning you know your soul's um purpose and just letting go of any frustration and i know that there can be a lot of it but uh, again at the end of the day it's worth it just to get through it so and um also if your blood if your blood pressure is um not regulated you could have one hand over your heart and the other hand in your back over your kidneys okay if you can reach your back, if you can't reach your back, just keep it on your lower abdomen. Um, that'll be good. Okay. Sing greatest love. Dear soul, mind, and body of beloved divine, beloved Father God, beloved Mother Mary, Jesus, all of our Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Guan Yin, Shardamoni Fo, Amitofu. And you can just call in whoever you feel close to in your heart. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. And dear all the saints, 
please lend us your greatest love for our healing and rejuvenation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. And dear my body, my heart, my mind, my soul, whatever it is that you're working on, I love you, wanting you, and appreciate you. You have the power to heal, rejuvenate, and regenerate and transform yourself. Do a good job. Thank you. And dear all the souls that I and my ancestors may have ever hurt or harmed, especially in regard to this condition that I'm dealing with, please forgive us. We are sorry for our mistakes that have hurt and harmed you. Please, when it's right for you, if you can find it in your heart to forgive us. We really love you. We are so sorry for our mistakes that hurt you. We thank you for your forgiveness. And we are really, really appreciative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And dear any souls who have ever hurt or harmed us, we completely and unconditionally forgive you. Let us all continue on our spiritual journey in greatest love. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Okay, and we'll just sing greatest love. Greatest love. Greatest love. Relax your eyes. Just visual, just imagine the light from the calligraphy shining into that area of your body that you're working on. Again, if it's your blood pressure, it's a balance between your heart and your kidneys. Greatest love. Greatest love and again try to have your feet flat on the floor if that's comfortable for you and then we, we can sing also in Chinese so da is greatest and I is love da, 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 And also Brittany, so the nose, when your nose is stuffy, it's related to the spleen. So you can have actually one hand kind of in front of your nose and the other hand over your spleen. Greatest love, unconditional love. Clears all blockages, purifies our hearts and souls. Okay, and just pause for a moment and go ahead and put both hands just like in, in your lap, okay? And just relax, so feet on the floor. Inhale, and imagine inhaling all the way into your lower back and allow your, your heart to relax. Imagine your heart relaxing. Imagine smiling into your heart. And now imagine that as you're breathing, your whole body is breathing, head to toe. Inhale, exhale, and imagine your whole body relaxing. Inhale, your whole body is expanding. Exhale, your whole body is relaxing. It's in the relaxing that our body heals. Sometimes um, you might hear Master Shaw say, 
relax. In every moment, relax. And we do, we have to always keep reminding ourselves to relax because it's not um, in, in like our, our natural state <laughs> to relax. It's like kind of antithetical to our normal Western way of life, right? So we have to remind ourselves. So inhale, greatest love. And then let your heart relax as you exhale. Okay. And with the nose, the nose is stuffy, but try to inhale even just the smallest, thinnest stream of air. It's like you have to force your self to breathe through your nose. It's like you have to force your nose to open, but then just relax. You know how you can have like a um, like a, a tight muscle or clenched, like you can clench your fist. Uh, the, you know, it's very tight, very tight, very tight, very tight, tight, tight. Hold it, hold it, hold it, tight, 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 and then relax. And you can feel like the the you know the blood flow. So with the nose. It's kind of similar. You can massage your nose around your nose. You can massage around your tap, you know. Master Shah teaches us all the time tapping, 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 tapping. And you can also tap on your spleen for your nose. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Unconditional love. So let's do that for a few breaths. So we'll inhale, greatest love. Exhale, unconditional love. And as you inhale, imagine your whole body breathing. As you exhale, imagine your whole body relaxing. Inhale, greatest love. Exhale, unconditional love. And, you know, Dr. Wulin, um, often um, in the Tao science classes, she reminds us, you know, we don't remember how much we're loved. We don't realize how much we're loved. And so every time we trace greatest love or we sing greatest love, or sometimes, you know, we're too tired to sing or too tired to trace, just, you know, chant greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Greatest love. I love you, my heart. 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 I love you, my nose. 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 I love you, my soul journey. I love you, my soul journey. I'm sorry things are difficult and we have challenges in communication and technology, but I love you, my soul journey. I love you, my soul journey. I love you, my soul journey. And that love and light that is seeping into us with every time we chant these words or we sing these songs, then we start to feel, oh my gosh, I feel better. I actually feel loved. I actually feel my heart is relaxed. Okay, great. We have 10 more minutes. So let's um, trace a little bit. I just heard the phone fall on the floor. I don't want to step on it. Okay, I'll see if I can put the camera a little closer. Oh, sorry. Okay. There we go. So, um, if you don't know how to trace, um, I'll just show you the pathway, okay? So we're first going to go around the circle. So this is um, represents the Tao. So we're going to go around the circle three times. And then we're going to go down here, across, up, down, over, okay, down. And we're going to make three little dots here. Boop, boop. Boop, 
and then over here down and all the way across over here and up and over here make a loop make a little heart here around the loop and then down up down and around and come all the way back here so that's one complete tracing okay so you can just use your hand like this keep your five fingers together and I'll go ahead and sing. We can all trace together, okay? So just imagine the light going into that part of your body or your life. Like, you know, for if you're having challenges with like, um, you know, like what Mercedes was talking about for anybody that's having those challenges, just into your heart, into your heart, into your heart, into your heart. Because the more we increase the frequency of our heart, the um, less those things bother us. <laughs> yes, they might still bother us. They still bother me sometimes. But the more light we can give our hearts, the less it bothers us. And the more we can go, okay, you know, there are, are, are some challenges here, but it's okay. We're going to make it through. Okay, so tracing. Go around the circle three times. And we can say, Dao, Dao. Radiant love. Inhale. Down. Great. Love. Then one more time. Inhale. Down. Great love. Okay, wonderful. All righty. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Let's see. Yes, new new participants, yes, can always ask for a blessing as appropriate. Yes, I, I see Auntie answered that question already. Okay, wonderful. Great. Okay, so we have a couple more minutes. Okay, so um, let's see if people can come, maybe just say um, how you're feeling. Um, let's see. Oh. Asha, how is your forehead feeling? You can you can unmute. It's better. It's it's better. Thank you. Oh, okay, great, great, great. How much was it bothering you before, like on a scale of one to ten? Um, today it was about a three or a four, but Tuesday it was twenty, and I met with um. Master Lori, so um, just just continue it. So it was it wasn't it wasn't as bad as as it was this week, but right now it's a zero. Oh, okay, wonderful, great. And I see Antia that raised her hand. Yes, I just talked to my friend, and she's on the line, oh. and she's so grateful for the blessing because she feels so relaxed, and you know, so peace. And and as you said. When you relax, more healing takes place, you know, much yeah. quicker. So thank you. Yeah, for I, I always remember that, you know, Master Shah said, in every yes. moment, relax. In every moment, relax. relax. He's always trying to remind us, even though he's so hyper sometimes, you know, he I, always tells us, relax, relax. Uh, yeah. And she is so grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, let's see. Mercedes, how are you feeling? Um, I am feeling okay, but 
you know, it really is not, it is clouding my mind and my heart. If, is it, I mean, you know, I, at first I was very excited to be, to be in this uh, course because yes. my perception was, oh, I can really share Tao calligraphy and help people, a lot of people whom I know. So then when the class was going on and then I have listened to all this uh, VODs and I said, oh, I think I'm in the wrong place. Oh, because they're all they're all like talking about how how is it you can present yourself? How is it that you can market yourself? How is it that you can uh, do it as a business? But my I mean, I don't know if I'm wrong or maybe I am that. Uh, it all boils down to me like, is it all about business? I'm not here for business. I'm here to right. serve people. Right. I'm here to serve. I'm here to help. So I invested on this thing because I want to help. But if it's if this is the if this is leading to some kind of me doing the business, I think I I I am not uh, I, I am not on that right. on that uh, decision yet. No. So right. maybe and it uh, adding the adding the you can't get support from people who you I called so many times that you know I need some I need some support. questions answered. And then they change the schedule of the of the you know live end course, and then they don't they did not even inform us early early enough. And there were other students too that were saying that how are we gonna do about it? That we did not we were not able to attend the live end you know end of the course. So I don't mm. know. I, I took the test, the, the written test. I have not submitted my report, my outreach report, with which at first I said, where am I gonna go to do this, to do this outreach? And then all of a sudden I, I thought about one organization. It's the business that I am in. So I said, okay, let me talk to let me talk to the dealer of that business and if I can do some uh, uh, an outreach. I just want to finish this. And that mm -hmm. was my that was my heart. That was my decision. I just want to finish this. Either I'll do it as a business or I I won't do it as a business. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to finish this because this needs a certification. And then I heard from what the other students said, "Oh, it's now changed to um it's no longer a field messenger Dao field messenger, but it's gonna be Dao Chang level one. And it's gonna be no no more training, advanced training for this for this thing. I said, huh? It's like where is it where is this going? I don't know. I said I have to me I have no answer for that because I am not the organization. I'm not the decision maker of this thing. So I said so be it if it cannot go if if it doesn't really go through for me so so be it i just accept it as it is yeah i'm not i'm not um exactly sure what um that particular um program was but i know things I like to um change um so if you um um, do you have, um, where, where do you live, Mercedes? I'm in San Jose, California. Oh, San Jose. Okay, great. So um, you can always um, feel free. Do you have a mentor that you talk to? Let oh, none you. really. I just, you know, randomly I would ask uh, how, how am I going to go about this or what is this or what do you mean by this or, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't have anyone in particular that I, you know, that I considered like 
uh, Mama Net, Lori, and Shiami, uh, they are the first people whom I I went to when I had my Dao hands. So, and then, so questions here, questions there, you know, a join workshop here, workshop there. Mm -hmm. So those are really, those were really the, the basic people that, I I have uh you know conversations with you know and some right. questions being answered. Okay. So yeah, so uh, you know, like I said, feel free to reach out to any of us, um, including myself or Malia, and um, you know Chiami Lori and Annette, um, to kind of you know if you. If, if there's anything that we can do to help you figure this out, um, we will. And um, like I said, I don't know who exactly was running that program, but um, um, I know that Marilyn usually um, is able to kind of help clear up those kinds of things for people. So um, if you're if you're in touch with uh, Master Marilyn at all, you could reach out to her. If not, you could um, you could contact one of us um, and we could see if she I'm sure she would be happy to help you to figure it out or to navigate that that program or that situation. Okay, I will. Thank you. Okay. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so we are at 8.02 now. So we just have gone over a little bit. So I just wanna say thank you so much everyone for being here. It looks like we have had a couple more people that have joined us along the way. So thank you everyone. And um, Annette um, did just say that um, uh, Jemmy, Lori and Annette will be traveling next week. So we will not have our Free healing hour on May 25th. However, please feel free to watch the um, sessions on our playlist, um, which is on YouTube. And I, I believe, um, is the channel called Satori Wellness? Yes. Yeah, it? it's Satori Family Wellness. Satori um, Family Wellness. Yeah. And so the playlist is there. I included it in the chat. And um, yeah, so thank you. And then Brittany also is sharing some of the resources that you can oh. connect with, with the Dao Song. Just oh, wonderful. The Master Shah. And then we will continue with the June monthly wellness workshops. Even when we're gone, the sessions will be recorded so you can still um, wow. join us Yeah, in those sessions. So, and it okay. is recorded. So in case you cannot join live. Okay, wonderful, perfect. Okay, any other announcements? Um, I think that's it. I think, um, yeah, I think uh, Brittany just also posted the June. Um, we don't have a monthly wellness workshop with um, Annette this month, uh, but she will have one again in June. And so the we'll let you know more information about the focus of the workshop, but you can already register for it. Thank okay, you. Great. And Lori, really quickly, what is your website uh, address? Our website is Satori Family Wellness. Um, center.com I believe right so okay yeah so um also get information from there so thank you very much yes and satori is s-a-t-o-r-i yeah. correct yes I'll, I'll write it on the chat too okay yeah s-a-t-o-r-i oh, sorry um it, it's wrong satori family wellness I, I missed <laughs> <laughs> I mistyped it <laughs> thank you satori wellness yeah, yeah family, family wellness, family wellness, something. So sorry, Story Family Wellness Center. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, S A T O R I Family Wellness Center dot com, all one word. All right. So thank you, everyone. Love you, everyone. I appreciate your being here, and I hope that you enjoyed being here this evening as much as I enjoyed being here with all of you. And um, like I said before, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to 
reach out to any of the teachers on Maui or myself anytime. Thank you, everyone. Love you, everyone. Have a beautiful evening. Ahoi ho. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Thank you so much, Dr. Gina. Thank you. Love you. Good night. Good night. Good night.